Moxie, are you gonna say happy Memorial Day? I mean, are you gonna say happy Labor Day? I'm gonna say happy Labor Day. Happy Monday guys and also happy Labor Day. And I also just wanted to say a big thank you for supporting the bits of the week. Is that weird to say? Uh, I think it's one of my most liked videos. I told you guys to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I got a lot of likes on it. So I guess I'm gonna continue on doing bits of the week since you guys like it. I definitely like doing it. It's just filming it is kind of a challenge like I said in that video um, because you're just, you're trying to like have it have a flow and a story and it's hard when you're just getting like little bits of every day uh but practice makes perfect so and i definitely like love kind of taking you guys along with me during my week and kind of just showing you the little things that made me happy that week and things that i'm grateful for and just the little nuggets of happiness like i said uh so yeah so it is uh labor day why do i always want to call it memorial day um we were gonna try to do a little barbecue with family, but it was like super last minute and things just weren't matching up. And so uh, we skipped that. I'm trying to get my video uploaded, my Saturday vlogging video. <sighs> Joe's working on it right now for me. I'm having some issues with trying to import one of the videos. You guys are so cute. Mommy can't even handle it. Except Thumbelina's not paying attention. Come on, Thumbelina. I'm glad. All right, there we go. <laughs> that was a pretty epic fail. You okay there, Thumb and Is she hit your noggin? There we go. I have to hold Moxie because she doesn't know how to play nice. Moxie, oh, Moxie. you're exposed. You're such a bad girl. So it's five o'clock and we are starting to make some dinner. We're just gonna do a small little barbecue. Nothing super fancy. Um, it's been a lazy day. Oh my gosh, I'm still working on this video. Um, so yeah, I'm just starting to make some dinner. I need your muscles. This is my yummy plate. Mmm, there's a rainbow forming. Yeah, I'm getting all wet. Yeah, well it's called kissing in the rain. <laughs> I'm getting wet, hurry up. I think I have cried probably 10 times today. Um, but I did find the little pieces of happiness. I didn't think I was going to, and I just thought that today was gonna be just a no good, awful day. Um, and I took a nap and I just woke up feeling, I went to bed feeling like I was going to punch a hole through the wall. And I woke up with just like, it was only like a 15, 20 minute nap, but I woke up feeling so peaceful. And I woke up feeling like it was September. I don't know if that sounds silly, um, but it was only like five, 5.30 and the um, sky was starting to get really golden. And so the sun was starting to set. And it just hit me, like that fall feeling hit me. And I know that I've been saying that I'm not ready for fall, I'm not ready for fall, but fall is one of those things that's like you're not ready for it and then somehow it just wins you over. And it totally did that to me today. And it was on the day that I needed it the most because I really do love fall. Um, I just feel like summer has been so quick that I just like wasn't ready for it to end. And then a few minutes later, Joe came in and cuddled me and he knew that I had been having a no good awful day. It's just one of those moments that gratitude just hit my heart like a Mike Tyson punch. <laughs> that probably wasn't the best uh, analogy, but um, yeah. And it got me through the rest of the evening, which is great because tonight I have Mutual, which is a youth activity for church. We have it every Tuesday night and I'm in charge tonight and we're doing a hygiene night. So I put all my stuff in the dog bag um, and I made out these things. They're 12 to 14 year old girls and so they're just starting to wear makeup. And so I just kind of wrote down, uh, there's a little quote from the young women's president in our church. Um, and then I just wrote down, wrote down all of the tips that just kind of came to my mind. Um, for them and then here is makeup tips so basically I'm just gonna have like a beauty class for them tonight and have a Q&A 
so they can ask me any questions. It's kind of at that age where you start kind of implementing more hygiene type of stuff <laughs> into your routine. And I didn't have a mother that like taught me that stuff because she passed away when I was 10. So for me, it was very much trial and error. Like, oh, I'm supposed to be wearing deodorant now type of stuff. So basically, I just put some hygiene um, products in here and I'm gonna blindfold the girls and they're gonna come up and they're gonna grab a product and they're gonna be blindfolded and so they have to try to guess what this product is just by feeling it and then when they guess it, we're just gonna have a little discussion on what that is and how we should apply it. And then here I have a whole bunch of makeup that's good for younger girls to use. Just a quick little look inside of the bag. And so basically I'm just gonna put all of the makeup products on the table and I'm gonna talk about each one, talk about its purpose, talk about how to apply it. And then I'm just gonna let all the girls come up and just play with makeup basically so that they can start to get used to it. And if they have any questions, I'll be there to tell them like, oh yeah, this is how you do it or this is how you don't do it. Um, so yeah, so that is what I'm doing tonight. I've kind of spent the whole day in bed crying and putting this together.